high-deductible health plans with HSAs and HRAs. What is a high-deductible health plan? The high-deductible health plan is consumer-driven health insurance that has a high minimum deductible with lower premiums. The deductible does not cover the initial medical expenses, so you must pay the initial cost or out-of-pocket expenses before the coverage actually kicks in. Now, the logic behind the HDHP is that in theory, higher deductibles would lower premiums, making consumers more cost-conscious so that overall health care would be more affordable. Each year, the Internal Revenue Service sets HSA and HDHP requirements for minimum deductibles and maximum out-of-pocket expenses to reflect the changes in the cost of living. So, let's take a closer look. Here are the HDHP and HSA IRS requirements. Now, an HSA is a health savings account that is a voluntary contribution that funds the HDHP, and we'll talk about that later. But here you have the minimum deductibles for single and family. They simply double. And the maximum out-of-pocket for single and family, those double as well. The IRS sets these requirements each year. But let's talk about the actual contribution. Here are the HSA IRS requirement comparisons for 2012 and 2013. You see your contribution limit starting off at 3100 in 2012, and then for family, it's at 6250 You also have a catch-up contribution for 55 and older, and that means exactly what it means. You're catching up. It's $1,000 across the board. If you have a spouse that's 55 or older, you have to have a second HSA with a second contribution of $1,000, and that is established by the IRS. But let's talk about how the HDHP is funded. An HDHP has to be funded by something, so there are typically two choices. HSAs and HRAs. An HSA or health savings account offers voluntary contributions. An HRA or health reimbursement account offers credits. So what's the difference? Well, first of all, let's take a look at how the HDHP works with an HSA and HRA. Here's how the high deductible health plan works. You have your high deductible health plan intended to cover serious illness or injury and preventative care first dollar coverage or copayment or limited benefit amount. Now typically a high deductible health plan has to be funded and in this case it can be funded in two ways by a health savings account, dollars for health care expenses or by a health reimbursement arrangement, credits for health care expenses. Well first of all what is an HSA or health savings account? A health savings account is health insurance that enables you to pay for current health expenses and save for future qualified medical and retiree health expenses on a tax-free basis. You must be covered by a high deductible health plan to take advantage of an HSA. Now here's your HSA. Your earnings plus contributions. These are voluntary contributions. You see your tax-free growth. The volunteer contributions are not taxed. There are tax-free distributions for qualified medical expenses and a regular tax for non-medical expenses over the age of 65. Now, an HRA is slightly different. An HRA is a credit. So now the credits are not taxable. There are tax-free distributions for qualified medical expenses. But what's different about an HRA? Well, an HRA or health reimbursement account is an employer-based program that allows employees to contribute to a medical reimbursement fund or credit to pay for medical expenses. The IRS sets limits to these programs and provides limited tax benefits to counter medical expenses. Like an HSA, an HRA works in tandem with an HDHP. There are some similarities, but there are some key differences. The main thing to remember is that an HRA is more limited than an HSA on voluntary contributions, tax advantages, forfeitures, expense distributions, etc. Unlike an HSA, voluntary contributions are not allowed. Tax-free withdrawals are for qualified medical expenses only. You can roll over credits from year to year. You will lose your credits if you leave your employer unless you retire. Unlike an HSA, your HRA credits will not earn interest. So let's take a look at the benefits. With an HSA, you can earn interest. With an HRA, you cannot. Tax-deductible contributions on your account, you can do this with an HSA. You cannot with an HRA. Withdrawal of funds for non-medical purposes, you can do it with an HSA, but with a tax penalty if you're below the age of 65, an HRA you cannot. Is your account portable? An HSA, you own your account. With an HRA, no. Your account is forfeited if you leave your sponsored health plan or if you leave the government, except for when you retire. So again, there's your high deductible health plan. It's funded by a health savings account or 
a health reimbursement arrangement. There is so much more information about HDHP, HSA, and HRAs that cannot be covered in this video. We are showing you the basic explanation about how these plans work separately and together. We can help you focus on what is best for your specific situation so you can make the right choice. Education is key. Contact us for more in-depth information about these plans. They come from top health insurance companies like Aetna, Assurant, Coventry One, Cigna, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, Humana One, Kaiser Permanente, and United Healthcare. No matter what coverage plan you choose in Georgia, just remember, when you choose your plan, don't just get a quote. Let us educate and guide you to the right choice. From GeorgiaHealthInsuranceRatesPlans.com.